Hey everyone, Sir Ducks Lancelot here. Welcome to a new game. We're going to be playing Ramses today. Probably going for a science victory here. Let's take a look at Ramses' abilities. Now we are playing with BBG, so it is a little bit different than the base game. But general, same general idea. Gain culture equal to 10% of construction costs when finishing buildings and 25% when completing wonders. We get an extra 25% production to our districts and wonders placed next to a river. And we don't get any damage from floods. We have a heavy chariot replacement that's a ranged unit, Mariano Chariot Archer, and we have the Sphinx, which gives culture, faith, production, food, at least if you're in a desert. Um, and we want to put these next to wonders and on floodplains. Um, so that basically summarizes Egypt, or uh, Ramses, I should say. So we've got a pretty good floodplain start here. I want to try to get a Temenanki. I've tried two times already, and both times it it was taken by the AI turn twenty one, but maybe this will be the lucky lucky time. Um, okay, if we settle, I I for the long term, I kind of like the idea of settling in place because there's a big chunk of floodplains up here. If we move down, we lose access to a couple of those tiles. Um, we do gain access down here. Maybe it, maybe it actually nets out. If we settle in place that we're only going to be stuck with a 3-1, there's going to be at least one turn where we don't have enough gold to buy a tile and we won't have grown tiles to get another four yield food and production tile, which is very important. So I'm, I think we have to settle here, uh, settle, settle on this tile so that we can get these two, two tiles. Um, let's go through my mods real quick here. So I'll just kind of scroll through. I'm playing with the late game AI and real strategy mods as well. Um, those have two extra difficulty levels, but I'm just on deity right now. It's a Pangea map and there's seven other sibs on the map. I think we'll just settle right here to be next to these two, two tiles. That looks good. We'll have, we have a three, one base tile because I have a setting on that gives our capital a three, one base and uh, for for flat tiles and then a two two base for hill tiles, just for the capital. Let's get a couple scouts out to explore a bit, and we'll we'll go straight to writing probably for a Timonaki. I'm also uh, changing my audio a little bit here, so let me know if this sounds good. I noticed my last um, my last video sounded especially bad, but it, I'm doing this different testing with my audio. It, it's base. It's gonna eventually pay off. Eventually, I'm gonna have better audio. But it, in the meantime, it may be a little rough. So apologies if that's the case. I think we can pick this up with a scout. Let's leave that for a scout. Nan Madal. Okay, first meet on that. They want Eureka for irrigation, so they want us to make a farm. We could probably do that. And then they give an extra one culture for districts next to lakes or coasts, and then extra once you reach exploration. Let's go pick up this tribal village first. Let's get one more scout out. Start hitting this camp here. Okay, so I want to put in probably the survey card, even though we do have barbs. Eventually, we may need to put that in, but let's go with this first. We'll put in God King because we want to accumulate faith to get a Pantheon. See if we can get away with another hit here. And let's see what we get here. Oh, another scout. Okay, very good. We'll have three scouts. That's great. Okay, let's get a settler next. And we met Chinggetti. Wow. Okay, that's also a first meet. So we, in hindsight, we didn't really need this card, but we just we didn't know that. Um, so that's fine. But we can switch out when we when we uh, reach foreign trade. So that'll be good. And we can shave a turn off this settler if we buy a two two tile and work that instead of the three one. So let's buy a two two. Very good. Yeah, three turns on the set. Let's hit this. I think yeah, that gets us a promotion. Very good. Hopefully no barbs spawn. Ah, uh, that did. Okay. Well, we can fortify and promote. Big battle cry. We should be okay. Oh, that was smart. This guy went into the camp. Okay. Okay. Took quite a bit of damage there. Okay, since we're planning for a good floodplain city here, I need to settle this a little further than normal. I don't want it to steal tiles from this city. Floodplains tiles. We actually have a good spot right there on the cattle. It's a pretty quick settle. One, two, three turn settle, three one base working at two, two, one. That's pretty crazy. I think we've got to go there, yeah. 
And let's see, I, I'm going to squeeze in another settler. If we, I'm just going to not play this out. If I miss, if I miss a Temenaki, I don't really want to do a two city Temenaki. I just, I, I don't want to do that. But let's, uh, here we can meet Brussels. That's good. First meet on that. Pretty lucky on the city states. 15% production toward wonders they give. That is really good. And then Chinguetti gives, uh, faith on trade routes if you have a majority religion but i think yeah we're not going to be getting a religion most likely so but brussels would be great train an archer that's probably not going to happen and i've got to back this guy off unfortunately to survive okay let's settle our second city right here good stuff i guess we'll start with the monument here Another city-state, Bandar Brunei. First meet on that. Wow, four first meets. Very lucky. They want an encampment. They give extra gold, basically, on your trade routes. Oh, it could kill. Very nice. Did we get a first meet? Yes, we did. Awesome. And we got a promotion on that scout. Perfect. Okay, we need to put in the Barbarian card now. Plus 10 in BBG. We have our Pantheon, since we have 12 faith. Let's put in Urban Planning now. And I think this guy can survive by fortifying. He's across a river. He's on a hill and he's on woods. He should hopefully survive with the plus 10 card as well. Cardiff. Oh my, five first meets. Okay, super lucky. <laughs> super lucky. Wow, that is crazy. And we got our Pantheon. I think we'll take the Floodplains Pantheon. Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Yeah, that, that one, it's going to be fun. Fun with a good floodplain city. Take that. And it gives uh, production to the base tile as well, which is great. Uh, I think we need to finish writing next. It doesn't look like we're going to get the boost for it. That's fine, because we met all these city-states. Yeah, that guy walked back. The barbarian walked away. Okay, I want to promote the scout, and then we can take the tribal village. Another tribal village up there. Very good. And one there. Wow, three we're going to get next turn. Great bath is gone. Okay. Maybe we can get a Temenaki. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what we get here. 20 gold. Okay. And what about here? It's unfortunate we don't have the scout card in right now, but that's fine. Got another scout. Okay. And what do we get here? Sailing boost. This scout can probably go up north, explore up there a little bit. We got four scouts. That's great. Let's buy a trader in this city. We'll send our trader back to the capital. And now we need to start a Temenaki for sure. So where do we want to put this? We could do it here and then get like Sphinx, Sphinx, Sphinx. Triple Sphinx around it. That actually does sound pretty good. We act, we can't even start it yet because we don't have the gold to buy the tile. And for our next settle, I think we'll just settle right here. There's a good spot. Like we could settle this. That'd be a 2-2 base. It's a faster settle. Like three turn settle versus five. But then we're stealing like two tiles from the capital. I don't know. I just like the idea of like maximizing this city. <laughs> but I think ideally, I think actually, I don't know. Maybe I should just settle that. That That's like two turns faster. 2-2 two, two base tile working a 2-2. Two, two. Same as this. We could settle the horses. Also three turns. Four yield base working a four yield tile. And it steals only one tile from the capital. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll just settle horses then. That seems reasonable. We could we could accept losing a tile. Also three turns settle. That that looks good, I think. City state cleared the uh the barbarian camp there, by the way. Oh, I wanna I wanna start on a Temenanki, but I just don't have the gold to buy the tile um that I want it on. I I mean maybe I'm maybe I like a triple Sphinx setup, how how soon would we actually use that? Maybe, it, maybe we don't need that. Maybe we should just put it somewhere simple. I really don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. I think I just have to... Yeah, I think we have to just put it like somewhere right here, I think. Let's just do that. Not the greatest setup, but hopefully it means we'll, we'll actually get it. Seven turns to build. That seems pretty good. We'll see. Venice. Oh my goodness. Is that another first meet? Six first meets. Okay. <laughs> this game is super lucky. We, we could have waited one. We could have shift entered, actually. Man, I could have shift entered the production. We could lose a little bit of production based on how much was left over after the settler. 
Maybe I should just do that and go for the perfect setup. Maybe just reload. Because now we're going to have enough gold to buy, buy a tile next turn. Yeah, okay. I'm going to reload. I'm going to sc uh, save scum it. Okay, so we just need to meet Venice there. That looks good. And we're just going to shift enter the production here. All right, let's go for it. Seven turns, hopefully. Yeah, seven. It would have. We did lose a little production on, on uh, the overflow, but hopefully not too much. And we met Cree here. Okay, okay. Let's set all the horses here. Oh, natural wonder right there. Did we? Yeah, we first met that. Very good. Lots of error score. Let's get a builder here. We can get mining. We can improve the amber. Probably improve the marble. Three turns left. Will we get it? Will we get it? Two turns. Okay. Let's meet Alexander here. Okay. To the north. Let's start on a settler here in this city. Okay. So we basically need to be working. We need 14 production to finish this in two turns. If we drop to 13, then we can't do it. And it would take three turns. Um, we could also spend 30 gold, buy this tile, put in the settler card, which makes sense because we have four turns to a switch and we're building a settler here and we'll probably be building a settler here next. I think let's do that. I think it's kind of like wasting 30 gold, but it's we gain quite a bit of production, I, I think, from it. Let's put the survey card back in. And this, let's see. Oh, it's still two turns. Okay, I, my calculations were a little off then. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, I did calculate that off. Yeah, it's 25%. 25% boost, perfect. Okay, awesome. I think that's a good good call there. And our first governor, I think let's take Liang. Let's just go all out with Liang here. Um, so in BBG, Liang gives uh, her second promotion reinforced materials, plus one production for floodplains and volcanic soil tiles. So that's really good. That'll be really nice if we can actually get this Timonaki. Let's see if we get it. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. A little, little concerned. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, I, I, okay, one turn. One turn. Maybe we can do it. What do we get in this tribal village? 60 gold. That's really nice. Okay, let's see what happens here. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? One turn. We did it. Yes. Wow, okay, that's awesome. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. A Temenanki. We got it. We got it. Awesome. So now we need to be working these tiles that they become better than anything else. Beautiful. And we did three cities too. That's great. Pretty lucky. Government Plaza. I want to do in this city with Magnus. Our Magnus city is going to be right here. We want to stack that with Government Plaza, because Government Plaza gives your trade routes plus one food and plus one production when trade routes are sent to its city. That goes really well with Magnus's promotion. Um, there are two different promotions here in BBG, production and food on, on trade routes to his city. Normally a district will only give you like one food or one production or maybe a couple gold. Uh, but the dip, the Diplo Quarter and the Government Plaza give you one food and one production. So it's it's really nice to stack with uh, Magnus's promotion. I think we have a pretty good spot right here for the Government Plaza. That looks pretty good. We can put districts around that. Mostly flat tiles. A couple hills. But they're not floodplains. It's not killing any floodplains tiles. So I think, yeah, I think Gov Plaza right here. And then we could probably do like a, a commercial hub there or even better. Maybe we go for like an aqueduct here, industrial here, industrial here. Maybe we do commercial hub right there. This is obviously going to be a quarry that's going to boost that adjacency. This is also going to be a quarry. Really good industrial zones. I like it. Yeah, let's buy this tile. Put down the government plaza right there. Let's finish that settler though first. Let's get a builder here. Uh, or no, actually we have we have the settler card in. Um, I guess we go for a settler first. Another tribal village. We get an envoy, and let's use our second promotion here for the extra production on floodplains. Actually, no. Let's get a builder here. Um, we 
Let's see, we can chop this tile. Yeah, get a builder, it'll have four charges. Chop that tile. Uh, let's see here. And yeah, I think I think we'll keep the settler card in, that's fine. Since this city's working on a settler. Okay, let's buy this tile. Could do a pretty good Sphinx right here. Let's see. Sort of want to save that though for the next era. Maybe I'll just improve these um, these tiles here. Actually, no, let's, I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna move this builder here. I wanna chop. We can do a commercial hub like right there, I think. That looks pretty good. This city can work on a settler. Yeah, we can chop into a settler, that's good. Perfect. There's Russia, okay. They must be somewhere up here. Yeah, they're way up here in the tundra. Now we can work on a settler here as well, perfect. We're up to, oh my goodness, look at that base tile, three, four, one. Working all these three production tiles, it's crazy. Actually, I, man, I could almost see doing a granary really soon, but uh, I think the settler first is fine. But yeah, we really need to get a granary soon. Okay, this city can probably go down here somewhere. We could also settle coastal, maybe. We need to chop this tile. We're, we're gonna be pretty good about chopping into the tiles for our districts. We're gonna try to be. Let's chop this settler place. Commercial hub right here. We'll do this, finish the settler first. Let's work on our government plaza in this city. What do we get here? 20 gold, I'll take it. Nan Madal, I'm thinking about killing that. These are floodplains, that would be a pretty nice city for us. Horses, send horses down there. We've already got horses accumulating. Maybe we can do that. And it's not like we have a lot of districts on coast or lake anyway, so choosing it wouldn't be that great. Okay, there's political philosophy very early. That's good. Let's uh let's see. Do we do we take autocracy for could use some housing. Eh, we don't actually don't have any districts here. Yeah, let's start in our autocracy. That's gonna give us a little bit more than classical republic right now, but we'll switch to classical republic when we're ready for our ready for our tier one or for our legacy card, I should say. That looks good on the policy cards. Let's chop into the settler here, beautiful. I think we can go settle down, maybe down here. Or maybe we wanna go over here. This actually looks a little better, maybe. Ick Hill also would be a good spot. Yeah, let's go that way. Oh, we could settle right on top of that. This guy, let's see here, where do we settle this? I guess coastal, we do probably want a coastal city. Let's go settle that. Now we can place our commercial hub here. Two turns. Okay, what do we get in this one? A free builder, nice. Was that in their capital? Yes, four charge builder. Beautiful. Let's do that here. We got an envoy for that in Nan Madal. Hmm. Maybe we don't want to kill it. Okay, let's chop our government plaza and then I think we need to start right into a commercial hub here so that we can uh, yeah, we need to get a district discount on campuses. And our culture, we're, we're generating so much culture through building stuff that it's going to be a little tough not to unlock these things, which would ruin our district discount. Promotions now, we can go for Magnus in this city. Okay, classical era, we got our golden age easily. Got our plus four commercial hub already, that's great. And we should have a discounted campus here. Let's let's give this tile a chop. Yeah, uh, oh, it doesn't say it's discounted. Hmm. Let's chop here. Should be discounted. We have three, let's see, three types of districts unlocked. One on the civic tree, two on the tech tree. We just finished a tech. We'll, we'll test it, we'll test it. It might be lying to us. Yeah, we've got three finished districts. So we should have a discounted campus, but we don't. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We will, let's reload that. Let's figure that out. That's kind of weird. I think, I wonder what, what the issue was there. Okay, maybe I need one more tech for the discount to take effect. Let's take pen, let's see. We, I mean, we could take free inquiry for more science, but I think if we do that, we would take it the next era maybe. I think, this first era for sure we'll take this. And if we're not doing any theater squares early, I might just do this for the next era too, we'll see. 
Let's get our first Sphinx right here. That's a pretty nice tile. Okay, let's work on our audience chamber building. Gives amenities, housing, and food for cities with governors. Okay, now it's discounted. Maybe on the era, on the turnover, you don't, maybe it doesn't count. But yeah, 30 production, that, that means it's discounted on online speed. I guess we can do campus right here. Let's get this commercial hub done. We finished this settler. We can settle right here, I think. Should be a decent coastal city. We need to get, I guess, I guess this should start with a granary since we don't have um, harbors unlocked yet. Okay, I think we're gonna go on and settle down here on Ick Hill. I think that makes sense. And then that would leave a city right here. I don't really wanna settle up north on Alexander. We can settle this spot right here. That seems good. One city down here on these floodplains, or maybe even down here. And then hopefully we can conquer Nanmadal. That should be eight cities. What do we get here? 20 favor. Okay, let's do a little summary. We just entered the classical era. We just settled our fourth city. I think everything is looking really good. We'll get these cities settled in the next five turns or so. That'll be six cities. We've got a Temenanki, most importantly. We got our Pantheon. The unique thing here that I hardly ever do is putting Magnus into a secondary city and using that as our trade city with the government plaza. That's something that's unique to this game that I, I don't usually do. So that's kind of a cool twist. Oh, I think we can get a promotion on this scout. Yeah, there's Everest. Beautiful. Got the promotion. And I'm trying to minimize culture right now to not unlock any of these three districts because I'm trying to get a, a discounted campus in this city too, which I think when we finish this one, we, yeah, we'll, we will have qualified for, we're just waiting on the city to grow so we can place it and we'll need to put it out here. I guess what we planned buying quite a few tiles, but that's all right. I guess we can go chop that. Although wait, we're going to need bronze working for that. Hmm. So no, okay. This city's campus, this, this, uh, this campus can go with this city. We'll have to put this one somewhere else. Let's get another farm. Oh no, actually this is where we were gonna do a, um, a Sphinx. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Okay, so now, the farm there. Now we should go for um, go for a water mill in the city. So another th one thing I love about BBG is that water mills give farms plus one production. Which is which is pretty cool, and here it's going to give us just a ton of production. And maybe this would should even be a farm, but I guess it's okay. It's a, oh, and actually, yeah, we plan to do a sphinx right here instead, so we'll have to move some things around to get our ultimate layout. But that's okay. I shouldn't have placed that that other sphinx there. And this will we'll have to remove this. But that's fine. All right, let's turn this trade route around. Send it from another city. How about helping this city out? This city needs some help. We should probably get harbors, get a harbor going for this city. Oh, there's a barb camp right there. Yeah, we have a discounted campus here. Now my question is where to even put it. We could go here on the river for the production. We could go here for a little adjacency. We could crush this, I guess. I mean, that's kind of sad to crush a marsh with a Temenaki, but I guess we could. Yeah, let's just crush the marsh. A little sad, a little sad, but that's fine. Okay, good. So that is definitely discounted. Perfect. All right, let's send a trader back to Cease in this city. Okay, we're pretty good on district discounts, I think. We'll probably get some more. Let's unlock harbors for this city. And let's, let's see, do we switch our government yet? I guess not. I guess we can wait a little more, a little longer. One more turn, maybe. Okay, we've finished our water mill. Let's take a look at these tiles for production. Beautiful. And let's settle city number five right here. City number six. Let's see. We could just go here, I guess. Yeah, let's settle city number six right there. Beautiful. Okay, let's switch into our government, Classical Republic. We need a couple, one more settler, I think. One more settler and then some horses. Maybe the horses first. Let's put in maneuver. Put in the builder card. That looks good. 
We also want a trader. Let's see. Let's buy. I want to make a few horses. Oh, we can make our unit too. Although I don't think the card. Yeah, it's a ranged unit. So this the card that we would use doesn't apply. The the horse card I should say doesn't apply to that. I could buy one of my unique units. They're kind of expensive, but they could help take down the city state. I think one of those. I also want to get a trader too. But taking this out would be so good. We have a warrior down here too. All right, let's buy one of these. Build a horse. Let's go for a commercial hub here in the city right there. But let's go builder maybe first. Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty quick feudalism here and we could probably boost it with a couple more farms. This city, I wanna do next to Ikkil, do a district. Let's start on a builder. Let's get harbors, Vietnam, okay. We found them up to the north. Okay, let's get one more horse out. One turn that. Hope Namadal doesn't get walls. Looks pretty clear right now. Vietnam likes us. Let's become friends. Okay, we can all, I think we can attack. We can attack. We can already hit the city. Let's attack Namadal. Beautiful. Okay, good. That did over half damage on a shot from our chariot archer. Let's hit here. Okay, let's build a trader in the capital, send it to there. I want to get the settler card in too. We built our horses, that's good. Yeah, so we'll go trader and then settler. Need to pre-build builders for the new for our feudalism. And let's promote here to provision to give our trade routes extra production. Oh, and we have two promotions, yeah. Let's go ahead and take the surplus logistics as well. Now our trade routes are looking a little tra where our one trade route, I should say. We're gonna have two next. And I'm waiting to place this harbor because I think we can get a discounted district here. A discounted harbor. I mean, we could place the campus here now. I suppose we don't have the gold. Oh, he just got a horse. Oh, no. Maybe the farms will save us. We can hope. We can hope. That's rough. It's working on walls as well. But we do have some power here. Oh, shoot. I should have. Okay, so I'm reloading that. I reloaded that so I could move. This guy better. Let's hit the city with that. Okay, I think we just have to try to do damage right now. We do have farms. We can pillage the farms. We it's just if the walls happen, then then I don't think there's anything we can do. But we can try. Okay, let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't finish those walls in one turn. It doesn't have a lot of productive piles, so I wouldn't think it should be able to. I want to boost feudalism actually, so I need another builder. Yeah, let's get another builder real quick. Send this trader out there. Oh, that would have been such an easy kill on the city state if it just didn't get the horse. Like we it would have already been ours right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't get the walls. Don't get the walls. Please, please, please. Okay. Don't think it got the walls. Nope. Okay. Alright, we need a pillage for health. Pillage. Village. Let's hit the city. Can we take it? I don't think we're gonna know. Let's hit. We need another turn where it doesn't get walls. Let's hit there. Man, so close. So close. Terrible. Okay, at least we have it surrounded there. Oh man, if it gets walls this turn though, that's gonna be so rough. Alright, we need to get our settler out. Two turns on a settler. We can do um, Coliseum here in this city somewhere. Maybe one of these tiles. Do we have a discounted entertainment comp? Do we have a discounted harbor yet? Yeah, we need a new tech. We need a new tech or civic. That's the only thing that's stopping us from discounting. Okay. But the new tech or civic can't have a new district with it. Okay, the moment of truth. Will this get walls? Will this get walls? I'm sure it's going to get walls. We'll see. Maybe we'll be lucky. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's going to get walls. Let's see. Let's see. And it didn't. Oh my goodness. That's a miracle. That is a miracle. Wow. Okay, let's hit the city. I think we can even fit in a pillage here. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's pillage that. I think we can take it with this. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, and there's feudalism. Shoot. Okay. Feudalism just like that. Awesome. 
I guess that worked well. Yeah, perfect timing with those builders. We pre-built pretty much every city. Looks good. Wow, okay, nice. So that's seven cities on turn 40. That's great. And we didn't even need... Wait, how did we get... Oh, we have the farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came with a farm. Two farms. Perfect. Trader merchant. Let's take that. Amazing, amazing. Okay. All right, in that case, with this builder, I was going to get the sixth farm for it to boost feudalism. Um, let me think here. Oh, we should have a discounted harbor now. Yeah, we did. Uh, it's... I think it's lying. Yeah, it must be lying. See, two of these are three turns, and this one's four. Yeah, so we do have a discounted harbor. Perfect. That's good right there. Beautiful. Finish the builder. Let's finish the builder here. We can get lots of builders out quickly. And when we finish that harbor, I think we can get a discounted entertainment complex here. This city needs to place a district. Oh, we, uh, let's see. Pretty good campus, but I want, it, I want a commercial hub next to it. Kill, I think, for the production. Let's place one there. Okay, builders now. Builders, beautiful. We'll finish that settler. That'll be our last settler, hopefully. Oh, we need to put in the new builder card. That's important. Wow. I can't believe we got the city state. I can't believe we didn't finish walls. That's crazy. Hopefully, I think our last settler. Let's send this down south. We could have a six city coliseum right here. That's pretty good considering how spaced out some of our cities are. Yeah, six cities, and we can settle right here. That doesn't take any floodplains from the capital. Pretty good, pretty good if we can get that set up. Wow. We're going to need bronze working, though, so this may not be discounted, which is probably fine. I mean, this city has so much production. Oh, we haven't... Yeah, it's discounted right now. Oh, we could... Let's see here. We could place it right there. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's good. That is really good. Let's put that down. Yeah, 39 production. That's discounted. Awesome. I think that's all we're hoping for for discounts for the moment. Let's buy a trader right here. We should sue's Brussels before we start Coliseum, I think. Campus here. Let's just place that right here. Okay, we are going to need bronze work. Yeah, we do need bronze working for this. For that tile. I love taking a city state. We have a little army. We have. Higher garrison strength, so we're less likely to be attacked. You get more, like you get an actually decently developed city rather than like one population if you were to make a settler instead. And then when you take the city, the war is over. There's no more units to worry about, nothing like that. No more continuing to push. Okay, let's fix this setup here. We need to get the three um, sphinxes. Chop this. Let's chop the harbor. Good stuff. Place a campus right there. That looks good next to the reef. Let's do the lighthouse first. We need housing. Now, the one thing that's missing here is scientific city-states. Hoping we can find some. Otherwise, we probably will need more cities. At least eventually. Let's put a commercial hub right here. I think we'll do the, uh, the builder first, though. Next governor. I think we can take Moksha. Memphis. Don't need the settler card anymore. I guess we could put in natural philosophy. Uh, or we could put in Corvi. We do have another swap in a turn if we want. So I guess we don't need to put that in yet. Um, let's see. Let's put in maybe gold from trade routes. That looks good. There's 10 population. And let's settle this city. There's apprenticeship. Okay, let's get in Corvi. Looks good. We can... We can also seize Brussels. Good. Let's chop. Let's see, how many turns is Colosseum going to be? Three turns. Whoa, that's crazy. We can do a commercial hub here as well. Probably just right. Okay, can we chop Colosseum here? Not quite. Ah, six production off. Okay. Let's pass on this merchant. I know there's another trader one coming. All right, let's take Corvi out. We're about to finish. The, uh, about to finish Colosseum. And I think we can play Natural Philosophy now. That looks good. All right, there's Colosseum. That'll be a lot of amenities and culture. This should be a pretty big boost to everything. Yeah, that gets us to happy in probably in all of these six cities. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. We have a pretty nice setup here. Quite a lot of culture from those tiles. And we met another sieve. Okay. 
Okay, I think we can do our industrial zone now. I doubt. Oh, it it might actually be discounted. That might actually be. Yeah, that that is discounted. Beautiful. Let's put Pingala maybe right here in this city. This could actually be a pretty good spaceport city, I think. It has a harbor, so we could benefit from the integrated space cell card with the seaport. It has a good number of hills or mines, at least. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good city. Well, let's see here. We could. There are other options too. We could do one in this city with it kill. Do a spaceport adjacent to that. Yeah, that's probably a little bit better. I think we'll go there, and Muscat. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of um, no scientific city states yet. That's a little sad. We have a discounted theater square too. If we want it, why not? Let's do it. Let's just put it right here. I guess. Okay, let's take the culture promotion here, or Moksha. Okay, 186 production, that's pretty good. Turn 50, yeah, this is pretty good. I think that might even be more than my Cree game. Pretty interesting to see that. And and combined with, like, we've had pretty good science and culture as well. So, yeah, this is a pretty crazy sieve. I mean, I, the spawn is super good. That's That's a big part of it, but... But yeah, this guy gets a lot of culture, a lot of free culture from building stuff. Okay, now every city has a trader out to our Magnus city. That's important. We hit 200 production, turn 51. I think it was turn 54 on my Cree game that I hit 200. I like to start noting that. That's a good milestone. Did I miss a... Wait, did I miss a merchant with a trade route? No. Okay. We do. I think we have another... Yeah, we still have a discounted... District here, I should probably place. Yeah, let's get that. That'll be really nice to have. Our adjacency here, yeah, is up to five. Good stuff. Now we need to get to 10 population places campus. 2 2 government, let's get into that. Monarchy. Craftsman's looking pretty nice already. I think we have another plus five next turn. Let's put in feudal contract. We can pre, we can make some scouts and archers. And fill them in the cities, and then we can play retainers. And there's Mavemba. Still one more sieve out there to meet. Ooh, Russia likes us. Let's get a friendship. Yes. Okay, I think they're in trade range. Hopefully. Let's get a probably research alliance. That looks good. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, we're at the end of the class play era. Let's do another summary here. So we've got eight cities. That's pretty good for this point in the game, I think. Um... We had them like turn 44, I think, which was actually great. Production's looking really good. I think this is even better than my Cree game that I had. Uh, what else? Let's see. Coliseum is really nice. It's it's pretty interesting not having, like, having Magnus in my non-capital city. That's something different. Really able to stack up a lot of districts here in the capital. The district discounting has gone pretty well. I feel like production-wise, overall, it's gone super good. It looks like if we want to try to do a fast science victory, we've got at least 49 more techs. It's going to take at least 50 plus turns to get through all of those. So that already brings us up to like turn 105-ish. So probably not a super fast science victory. I think if I had wanted to, I could have probably rushed science a bit more. But I think I focused a little bit more on production, which is probably good. Maybe not for like winning fastest turn count but um but i think that's a good way to do it usually yeah no and then no scientific city states that's also holding us back quite a bit um i i should probably settle some more cities there's a good city down here i should get maybe up here on the coast temenanki has been fun two plus five industrials that's really nice yeah this is going pretty well all right